Virginia, we are standing here in front of Corallium number three and Corallium number five. There's a dichotomy here. They are part of the same series, but very different. Help us to understand what we're seeing. Well, it's interesting you picked up on that, Stephanie, because really, if you look at all of these Corallium, they're all very different and have their own distinct personality and life to them, sort of like the ocean. But you're right. I mean, this one is like a close-up, almost microscopic, of the coral forms breaking apart, seeing the edges, boiling it down just to the form in, in monochromatic blacks and grays, really seeing the texture and the surface and the little water bubbles, and just really the whole thing. It's like one small section of a bigger world. And whereas this one, number three, is exactly the opposite in that it has a horizon line in it that somehow arrived. And when we're up on the fourth story of our house, you can see these islands in a horizon line way out in the distance. And we also often see, you know, see a red and green flash at sunset. It's our ritual every night to watch the sunset. But then at the same time, I'm thinking about being underwater in this painting also and that the light filtering through the water from above and making these elongated forms that add another layer of mystery to the painting at the same time. So really, they couldn't be any more different. And color-wise, too. Really trying to shift the blues and greens. and Because the Caribbean Sea is, def is constantly changing color, too. One minute, it's this turquoise, clear, beautiful blue. The next minute, it's this deep Caribbean, threatening blue at times, and there's a cloud overhead and a storm coming, and it's just constantly changing. Every day is different. Every hour is different. 